Hello and welcome back to our channel. You all will be fine, let's start today. Sudani asked to come to the USA and was denied. My view is he was told, three items to get to work on. He did. We now see the UST show up after. So it appears an assessment was made as to where they were in getting this completed and likely found they were sitting on the ball on the sidelines. Not good. Hence the arrests, the Raffidane Bank shakeup, etc. The level of focus now is fascinating to me. The IFC, WB, still in town. Alalak having had a progress report that looked good. A statement from the central bank regarding the campaign to support the dinar. Quote, The deputy governor of the central bank, Amar Kalaf, announced the success of the campaign to support the dinar, and while confirming the application of controls that helped stabilize the exchange rate, he pointed out that there is no problem with the amount of foreign currency supply. This statement will nullify a few in Dinarland who think there's too much money out there. Fact is that money in the central banks of other countries will be used to invest and buy in Iraq because they will only be using dinars. We are in the best of positions, the one about to enter the banks. We found out they were planning to print the new rate and the oil and gas law or the HCL hydrocarbon law, HCL in the printed version Gazette. Wednesday. Guess what? It didn't happen. Our contacts from Iraq are saying they're planning to bring it out in a printed version Saturday. They said this weekend, but I believe it's going to be Saturday, their normal printed version day. So let's look for it Saturday. It's not about get rich quick. It's been about get the country up to its real effective exchange rate, and I think that's where we're headed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.